that's also got to be bought at that same level back to about here so I can get a seat in there so that's the object of this exercise streamliner chassis is now uh, suitably widened uh, converting it from a sort of uh, lying drag racing position to a seating position so there's room in there now for a seat sitting position now that I'm converting this to a three-wheeler and a seating position is a bit more desirable more comfortable the chassis is all lined up now with the engine at the back jet engine uh, using markings on the floor and I've suitably anchored the chassis down to the floor so that it cannot move whilst I'm doing this uh, further work of uh, making new chassis pieces to join up with the original motorcycle type streamliner chassis that I built some years ago to incorporate this jet engine and two wheels at the back well this looks like a glorified shopping trolley this is the new rear chassis piece I mentioned earlier which is under construction and will be slid into place and joined up to the main chassis tubes alongside the jet engine and joined to the existing front chassis so when we've done that there will be some more video of it of this video is uh, about 10 months after the first part of this video see now since the last uh, update that this has uh, advanced considerably than what it was engine is now in chassis is more or less completed maybe a few odd brackets here and there to do ignore the rusty tube that is uh, going to the floor there because this is all anchored down to the floor and I've set it all up with spirit levels plumb line string straight edges and so on don't have a laser level I didn't build the Eiffel Tower using a laser level I don't think that's still standing Okay, the Eiffel Tower isn't going to move as fast as this, I hope. Having done over 200 miles an hour now on two wheels, I'm not uh, expecting really to set any records as such. But I'll be rather disappointed if this doesn't get somewhere near to 300. It doesn't have an afterburner on it, that's not as powerful as some of the, uh, some of the other jets or vehicles that are running. I've not built this as a quarter mile dragster. I've built it more as a land speed record vehicle, so it will probably need a longer run up. Two miles maybe. Pendine sand springs to mind. Two swinging arms there milk crates or beer crates for wheels at the moment I've got the hubs to machine to suit the wheels I've selected the skeleton structure there for the tail fin engine mounts there are technically only three mounts on this engine one each side as you can see there and one under the back a bit difficult to film but it's right under the tailpiece 
it tells you that only has a 5 sixteenths 8 milli bolt through it so just to be sure I've picked up on the uh, hoist mount point there just as an extra point and also to help stiffen these uh, structures which will be anchored to it same there there's a, another bracket for supporting during lifting so I shall anchor also to that this top piece is completely removable so I can get the engine out that's bolted through to there originally it was removable this was a, a two wheeler streamline originally and uh, I made the top tube removable for working on the antiquated engines that were in there Triumph engines originally but uh, it's undergone considerable modification now to accommodate this jet engine and I've jo joined up all this is new chassis parts all linked into the original two-wheeler structure I'm not sure if I'm using that seat or not yet I use it as a basis just to set the thing up might make an aluminium one with no padding if my 73 year old bones will stand that a lot of the bodywork is done from previously but will have to be altered considerably and new pieces made around the back end made teleforks which will be going back on the front which I made some uh, years ago I hope that the vision won't be too obstructed through the windscreen that was made courtesy of uh, British Aerospace some years ago that's a motor for it nestling there in the uh, cockpit that obviously doesn't go in there <laughs> permanently I need to uh, divide some drive from it into the front of the engine shaft turbine shaft so the starter motor will be somewhere here not sure if it has to be a direct drive or if it goes through gears I know it goes into a gearbox on the aircraft which I don't have so uh, I've got that to sort out yet yeah, could do with an aircraft technician to have a look at this somebody that's familiar with the, the Viper engine I've got a lot of workshop manuals and drawings for it but there's so much for one person to uh, master I need some expert help I think when I'm ready to run it two wheels at the back as I uh, previously said I think um, two swinging arms that I've made one on each side and a wheel at the front three wheeler so it could uh, enter for both sorts of classes um, I think some of the uh, drag classes allow of and speed record classes I should say allow for three wheelers propulsion powered and also uh, under the uh, a motorcycle inverted commas uh, regulations accommodate three wheelers Spe special purpose uh, jet powered or rocket powered I just hope it doesn't take me as long to get to 300 as it's taken to get to 200 and odd but I shall keep going as long as I'm upright and um, I hope to have this on its wheels within the next 12 months with some body work on it and uh, well, I'll do another update I'll probably do another update before 12 months time actually but we'll see that's 